Welcome to Suerte del Molino, a farm in Andalusia, Spain. Here we are doing carbon planting. So what is that? We have a lot of dry, dead carbon organic material. And then, 10 days after the rain, we have live plants and they treat carbon in a very different way. So, there is CO2, carbon dioxide in the air, through photosynthesis. It gets trapped in the plant and it can build organic carbon cells and grow. So f this organic carbon, it like this dead material, only about 12% of this reaches the soil. The rest is in the air, goes back into the air. With these plants, they absorb it and then push the liquid carbon down its roots. It's called the liquid carbon pathway. This green plants, when they photo synthesize and uh, putting carbon into the soil uh, feeds the mycorrhizal fungi the nutrient cycling uh, they reduce carbon co2 in the air so uh, we need green plants here on this farm we only have green plants six months of the year except for these oak trees. The win, the winning place position to reach is when more carbon is taken out of the air and placed into the earth than released from the earth into the air. Now, the unit for measuring this is grams of carbon per square meter per day. Grams of carbon per square meter per day. When we have lots of green leaves, green growth, new plants, then Conservatively, it's measured that between half a gram carbon per square meter per day up to 2.5 grams of carbon per square meter per day is what we expect that can be produced here. This farm appears it can produce up to 25 tons of carbon into the earth. Now, <laughs> I don't know how one measures that, but they say it's quite easy because CO2 is heavier than oxygen and uh, also through some isotopes. Anyway, 25 tons a year. That is what is exuded by roots of growing plants into the soil and then made available to microorganisms. I like that. So what can I do 
to improve this situation. The first thing is to have living plants all year round. That is the most important thing and obviously moisture in the soil. That is another difficult one, but we are working on it. So, I was told that we are not doing too badly and that the test results show that we do produce a lot of carbon and have it in the soil and still we can do much more. On that happy note, till next time, goodbye.